Hi, it's Mel and today I'm filming my wrap up and TBR. The first book that I finished in the month was Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, the third book in the Infernal Devices series. This series follows a girl called Tessa who may or may not be a warlock, a boy called Jem and a boy called Will who are both shadow hunters and it's set in the Victorian London period in the late 1800s. It's a fantasy book with like demons and angels and vampires and many other fantasy creatures. Tessa comes from New York and then when she arrives in London she kind of gets taken away by these two mysterious old ladies and then she is saved quite heroically by William Herondale. I really liked this ending. It got all of the emotions. It made me very emotional but it was like a good emotional and kind of liked the actual book ended other than the fact that it reminded me of the ending of City of Glass. You may know what I'm talking about, you may have no idea what I'm talking about but I won't reveal anything because that would be spoilers and I'm not that cool. The next book I read was also in fantasy series and that is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, the third book in the Percy Jackson series. I really like this series, it's based around the idea that Greek mythology is all real with a few modern twists on it and it all takes place in camp and in New York so mainly in America. It's like if Greek mythology wasn't in Greece it was in America which is a bit weird but there are these half bloods which are half mortal half Greek god and there's some prophecies that say very bad things. This one was the first one that wasn't set during the summer holidays, it was set during the winter holidays. It all took place of like three days which is a bit weird because it took me like five days to read it but it's cool and there was a Pegasist called Blackjack. It wasn't that important to the story but oh well. In this one Annabeth gets taken and this one introduced loads of different characters like the D'Angelo's and the Huntresses. I really liked it so the third book that I finished is 700 pages and took me a while. Almost the entirety of my week holiday for half term but it, it was kind of worth it. I may have almost cried on a public bus once but that's that's all in the past kind of. And that is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the sixth book in the Modern Instrument series and it's also the last book in the series and oh all of the emotions. I really want the next series like now but I have to wait until next summer. This is also a Shadowhunter Chronicle book but this series of books focuses around a girl called Clary who is a shadow hunter but she doesn't know she's a shadow hunter because Magnus took it from her memories and there's a boy called Jace, I'll leave out the last name because that's just all kinds of mess and then there's Isabel who's awesome, there's Alec who's also awesome, there is Simon who is an idiot but I love him and there's Magnus of course, the warlock, amazing, he has his own book. Shadow hunters are people who kill demons, not shadows because you can't kill a shadow, it's stupid, I know. Anyway, the demon hunters, society in their own city and they're all a bit big headed. This was a bit much but I read it and I liked it, there's not much I can say about it without spoiling it but it's a good series. The last book that I read one that I really wanted to just read so that I could say I finished four books because three books is kind of pathetic but that is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. This is a standalone fantasy book that is absolutely amazing and I love really much but like the first like sentence I read it and I was like oh this is going to be something isn't it? So the first line is down a path worn into the woods past a stream and a hollowed out log full of pill bugs and termites was a glass coffin. It rested right on the ground and in it slept a boy with horns on his head and ears as pointed as knives. And that's just, I, I love it so much. Okay, I have a lot of emotions about this book. I always wanted to do a book talk about it since I like heard it was a book and I'm going to do that because it's amazing and I wrote notes on it and mainly it's just synopsis but I have a lot of feelings about it because it focuses around a girl called Hazel and her brother Ben and the boy in the coffin who is called the horned boy that they nickname him the prince and there's a lot of fairies and they live in a village where known about that there are fairies 
but they're normally not very nice and they don't really get along as a society. And there's like a really cool battle sequence near the end of it, which is amazing. There's also Ben's best friend Jack who gets mixed up in everything and it's like now one of my favourite books because I really like The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. That was another standalone vampire book and it was amazing. The, like this was also amazing. It's just Holly Black has such beautiful writing. I just love it so much and it's one of my favourites now. I can't like form sentences. But just read it please. I mean it's amazing like amazing okay i'll stop now so those were all the books that i read here are the ones that i want to read in june the first book that i may have already read is a work in progress a memoir by connor franta connor franta is a youtuber if you didn't know but he prefers to be referred to as a content creator and he has a hipster blog but we're not going to talk about that and this is only like 203 pages but like half of them have pictures on and it was really sweet because he took all of them but then i wanted to show someone in my class what he looked like and like the only picture of him properly that wasn't like blacked out on his face is like the back flap and i love connor very much and it was nice to get a more in-depth look into his life and his history and his family not in a creepy way i really like connor he's very philosophical when it comes to all the things like putting your phone down and talking to people and going out and being alone sometimes i also laughed out loud a lot because he's just so funny and it translates very well on book he wants was like you are not perfect unless you're Beyonce in which case hello Beyonce please love me but like stuff like that it was quite funny it also made me really sad at some points because people do not always have perfect lives and Connor is one of those people it made me emotional like all of the books that I've read. The next book that I want to read in June is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Ruth Brennan and Maureen Johnson. This is a collection of short stories about the life of Magnus Bane, which is a long one because he's a warlock and he's mortal and he's been around since the 16th century, I think, because everyone needs more bisexual warlocks in your life because a necessity i mean obviously it makes me excited for when tales of shadow hunter academy comes out in physical copy instead of just ebooks and there's also comic strips before every different section like that and i am currently reading this and it's it's amazing magnus is like one of the reasons why i've read the multiple instruments and the informed devices the next book that i want to read is Percy jackson and the olympians the battle of the labyrinth this is the fourth Percy jackson book obviously because i'm reading them in order because that's what you do with the book series as i may or may not have mentioned already i really like the Percy jackson series it's going well and this is i've like read at least one Percy jackson book for the last few months each month so why break that now it's a good book I'm looking at my bookshelves I think what should I read all right something that I've already basically been reading for the last few months but the last book that I think I may get to or just read more of not really finished is The Queen of the Tealing by Erica Johansson and no I cannot take the stupid little sticker off because they put it on the dust jacket and you cannot take stickers off a dust jacket I'm fine I need to calm down slightly but this is going to be turned into a movie with Emma Watson and it's a hardcover and it's fantasy like high fantasy and it follows this girl who is a princess and will become queen even though everyone knows that if you're in royalty and fantasy then you're probably gonna get killed but she's not gonna get killed because there's a second book in the series that people are reading but i have not read i don't even think it's out yet maybe it is i haven't been keeping up to date on the whole book thing people were reading it and i was like okay i'll give that a chance i'm like 50 75 pages into it so i need to read more maybe not finish it though because that's it's it's high fantasy i can't read that much but yeah that was all of the books that i read and hope to read kind of i don't know bye